What's up, guys? It's your girl, Gattaquapos, in the house. Let's get furious. We are back again with week toast. Toast? Yeah, we'll roll with it. Week toast. <laughs> week toast. Let's go, toast. Toasters, toast, toast. Not true. Shout out to if you guys get that reference. Uh, toast! Uh, we are back with week two with our team builder for our, our week two opponent, the Darby Doll fans. Coached by Tui. And we are gonna go over our awesome, amazing, epic team. Getting into it. Oh. Alright, starting off the banter, we got Dexter, our life orb, Alakazam. So I want to let, get some little shenanigans out there, get this party started right. Most people are like, oh, he's a weak, weak sauce, but yeah. We got magic guard just in case they decide to bring the penalty boxes. Got the magic guard for the penalty boxes be like, hey, he's gonna set up stealth box. Oh, he's got that, um, what else is out there? All those big sticky webs and spider webs and whatever there are. Magic guard. Gotcha. I am rocking the 252 special attack because, yeah, he's a special attacker. He go burr. Got the 252 speed as well to help him go even more burr with the timid nature that lowers the attack because he's more of a phys I almost said physical special attacker. And he's rocking this team. He's gonna rock him down. We got the extra. Uh, we got the extra investment in defense because I know he's got really poor defense. So I gotta make sure I don't get poked with the physical move. But we got this. We got the set rock and psychic focus blast shadow ball and energy ball. The psychic there is for stab, obviously, because it's a psychic type. Duh. But the focus blast is there just in case I end up having to fight that cop or Raja or any of his other mons that are weak to fighting. I do not have the team right next to me, though, obviously. So I failed the. I'm failing! I'm failing! I'm failing. Let me pull up his team again, real quick. Shadow Ball is there because I wanted to make sure I had something for that. Uh. Dragapult. Dragapult was um kind of scary looking. I know you can set it up with this, with dancing, dancing dragons. Yes, I did say dancing dragons. And he's also got the Hatterene as well. He's got the Venusaur. He's got the Novern. Novern is pretty scary in itself. Uh, he's got Charizard, Lapras, the Energy Balls there for his water types, Inteleon and uh, Lapras. That's what I got the uh, Energy Ball on, just in case I get Alakazam on the field. So there's always that matter. Obviously it's timid, but I think Alakazam is mainly here to hit hard, hit fast, and hopefully he doesn't get poked. I wanted to run him at least once to see how he would do. I have other plans for him as well. To see if they go uh, astray, but for now, this is the set he'll be running this week. Moving on, we got Caesar, our Incineroar. Incineroar's back, he's back for more action. He's running a new name, a new build. He got the leftovers, the lefties for the bulk. And he's the same move, IV, EV, IV. EV spread as last week with the 252 attack, 118 defense, 118 special defense to uh, the 20 HP. With the adamant nature to boost the attack. Yeah, he's slow, but I'm hoping he tanks hits a little bit more this week. Unlike last week where he got one shot. Feels bad, man. I was hoping he'd tank a hit, but apparently he could not tank a hit. He's got the Intimidate to make the opponent go. I'm scared, please help me! Stuff like that. He is rocking Flare Blitz, Fake Out, Darkest Larry, and Thunder Punch this week. You're like, that's a totally different set than last week. Hell yeah, it is. We are going with the Flare Blitz to take care of that Kaparaja. 
if he brings in the double, if it's fluffy, I could do that. Venusaurus Flare Blitz as well, and then it's also there for the Corviknight. Somewhat. I know Corviknight's not too weak to fire, but he's weak to fire at the same time. So it's steel. I got the fake out there for the cheeky switch-ins. Like, hey, if I need to switch an Incineroar right off the bat, it's like, here's a fake out. That would be bad against the um, Dragapult. Everything else, it can be faked out. At least I think he doesn't get any mons that do that yet. None of his mons would get inner focus or anything like that to prevent the flinches. So, there's that. Darkest Lariat is there because I wanted to be able to hit that uh, Hatterene if I could. Or the Dragapult. And T Punch, Thunder Punch is there for the water types. Just in case he brings in a. Uh... It's also there for Charizard. I don't know if he'll bring Charizard yet or not, but. It's there for the Lapras, it's there for that Inteleon, it is there for that Novern, it is there for Corviknight. So that's why he's rocking the T-Punch, he's adamant obviously. Caesar's back, he's mad, he wants revenge for his fallen comrades. A2 Brute. Rot, rot. Moving on. We got Terry. Terry! Our Excadrill. I know, I know. She's female. Deal with it. Terry the Excadrill female. She's living her best life. Let her live her best life. She's got the assault vest to be that extra bulk. I know. Everyone's like, why are you bringing assault vest? Couldn't you just set up a sword dance and go burr? Yeah, I could, but I like to have the little bulk. It helped me last week. I think it'll help me this week as well. And. Oh, she's running the Mold Breaker, obviously, because Mold Breaker is so good. It is so good. Not that Tui has any Levitate Mons that I could worry about. But he does have some interesting ones. Interesting indeed, that could, uh, use to have their abilities go bleh. On abilities. I know it's not that yes, but hey. She is the 252 attack again, the 252 speed, and the extra invested in defense. Because she has less defense than uh, special defense, so that's why I invested in defense. And she is running the adamant nature again, as you can see. Adamant nature. Moving on to the move set, she's got Earthquake for that stab, powerful ground move. I mean, too, he has a few months weak to ground. I mean, he's got Toxtricity, which is four times weak to ground. He's got Bolton, which is four times weak to ground. Not four times, but it's weak to ground. He's got Caparaja could go, go down with that. But those guys are weak to ground, so it helps. I got Iron Head for that Hatterene. Just in case, I know. I know, it's stupid. But it's Stab, it could hurt. It could go bar. I got the Brick Break there for the Caparaja, mainly. It's also there for the Double. Because I know I don't have any fighting type mons on my team. Besides, well, we'll get to that eventually, but we'll see. Brick Break is there for just in case he sets up the screens as well. And I want to be like, hey, because he's got a Lapras on his team, so he could use that to set up the screens and that. And I'm like, Brick Break, get rid of your stupid screens. Rock Side is there because it is good for flinching. And I know Lapras is weak to it, Charizard's definitely weak to it. No Varn could hit it, Corviknight's okay with it, but because of the steel resist, but at the same time I can get some flinches on the Corviknight if I need to. It's mainly there to, for the flinches, and then just in case he brings Charizard or Lapras as well. So, we got that there, and we got that in the backup. Just in case. Just want to be cheeky sometimes. Moving on to our next member. You shouldn't be surprised by this guy. We got Infinite! Our Garchomp! This is what it's like to be infinite! We got Rocky Helmet on this, because Rocky Helmet is way too good with its ability, so it helps a lot, especially since most people don't see it coming all the time. I know you're like, hey, you saw it last week. Well, wait, why are you bringing it again this week? Because I can! Because I can! Don't worry, I'm not becoming predictable. I just couldn't think of anything else I wanted to run this week, especially with Tui's team. Because he's got a lot of physical attackers, so... A lot of physical attackers, so that's gonna do the residual damage. 
is rocking the 252 attack, the 252 speed to go burr and cripple things. It's got that extra boost in the special defense, because it's weaker in the special defense side of things. It's got the rough skin to pair with that rocky helmet again, for that double damage. That's really good damage with that, so... Infinite is infinite. It's so rocking the adamant nature just for that extra attack boost again. We got Earthquake for that massive stab, like last time. We got the Copper Roger that could take it, Toxtrus that could take it out, and Bolton that could take it out. And even with that extra stab, it might be able to take out a lot of the other mons too. Like, it could take on the Double, it could take on the Hatterene, it could take on, I think, Dragapult. But it can't take on the Flying Mons, obviously, unless I ground them and don't have a way to ground them, so. It's mainly there to hit the mons that aren't flying. Stone Edge is there for the Charizard than the Flying Mons because, hey, like I said, I didn't have a way to crown them, so I'm gonna just like pop them. Pop them good with the Rock Edge. The Rocky Edge. I got Outrage there for that stab that is mainly there for the Dragapult and the Novern. But I could use it on the other Mons because it's obviously a stab and it's a powerful attack. Ah. Uh, I pushed the wrong button. I'm not used to button mashing. Ah! Sorry, guys. I am not used to using this controller. There we go. Like I said, powerful 122 attack. It's just I'd be locked into that. So I'm hoping I. The only way I'd be using this is if he got. If I had the Hatterene off the field, because if I got locked into this move when he could just switch into Hatterene, he could just. Uh, there you go. Waste of turns. Waste of time, fool! But yeah. And then we also got that Fire Fang out there for the Venusaur and the Caparaja. And it's just there for that extra. It's also there for Corviknight, too, as an extra backup. Just in case. I don't know. But it's there. It's rocking. Also, it can burn. I keep pushing the wrong button. It can burn, so. I also can flinch too, so I like the chance to flinch and burn as well. So, yeah. And since you guys already know the next mod, we got Gibius. Or Primarina coming in for the first time ever. I drafted this thing last year. Last year. I could say, I guess you could say it was last year. <laughs> last season. And I really wanted to use it, but ended up trading it for Sableye instead and getting get a chance to use it. So I brought it back this season, and I want to actually bring this thing to a test. I really want to try it out. It looks like it'd be fun. It's got the leftovers there because I made it a little bulkier build this week. Bulky, bulky Prim Arena. It is rocking the 252 HP because its HP is kind of low. It is rocking 252 special attack because let's wreck things. She are a special attacker. It's got the liquid voice, and you will see why in a minute why it's got liquid voice. He's also got that little bit of speed investment. It's probably not gonna help too much, but hey, you never know with this mon. A little bit of speed investment might just be that enough to get some of his slower mons, like Caparaja. I know most of his mons are fast, but hey. And uh, I don't know why this thing would be fighting the Copper Raja. It may be the last one on the field. I don't know. I don't know. She is modest, obviously, the boost is special tech a little bit more. She is rocking Hyper Voice, which becomes Stab with the Liquid Voice, turning it into a water move. We got the Aqua Wing to set up for that heals uh, to compose well with that leftovers. Just so I can just be like, hey, I'm healing each turn with that leftovers and the Aqua Wing. Got the Ice Beam stab over there. Well, not stab, obviously. Ice Beam for that Dragapult and Noe Burn. And just have that Ice Move, because Ice Moves are nice and handy, you know, with that special attack. It's gonna be Rick and Shop on some of the other ones as well, even though they aren't the weakest. They're also there for the Venusaur, just in case he brings Venusaur, so. It's the Moon Blast as well, we got. That is definitely the stab, that Fairy Move. It is there for those dragons. It is also there because I want it to be there because it's stab. So, I wanted to use a set that ran. It's probably a typical 
upset a little bit if you think about it, but at the same time, it's not. I don't know. I'm not the best at building teams myself, so I just like, hey, this looks good. I'm gonna build this set and hope it run runs well. Moving on to our final member of our team. We got Jackie and a heavy ball also, cause yeah. It is rocking that life orb. Jackie Chan, gonna punch your lights out. Speaking of punch your light out, it is Iron Fist. Cause yes, I am running the fist moves. Powers up the punchy moves. It's got 252 EVs invested in attack for that massive attack stab. It's got 60 in defense to boost its defense just that little bit more. And 196 in HP. Just so its HP is a little bit more instead of, uh, cause its base HP is only 50. So I'm like, oh, I don't like that. So 196 EVs in HP helps a little bit. She is, uh, that needs to be fixed. But it is gonna be adamant. Obviously. It says bold, but it's adamant. Cause that's weird. Cause it was born bold. But it's adamant, cause I used a mint on it. But she is racking the mock punch for that clear stab boost, which is also priority. So stab priority is nice, especially with that iron punch. Iron punch, iron fist boost. So it's gonna go bam, 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 really quick, really fast. We got that Thunder Punch as well for the Novern, uh, Charizard, the Lapras, the Inteleon, the Corviknight, basically all those mons. We got the Ice Punch there for the uh, Novern, the Dragapult, the Venusaur, and we also got the Fire Punch there for the Fi Venusaur, the Copperaja, the Corviknight, just in case we need to use it. You never know when all those moves can come in handy. That's why it's a variety of moves spread. I wanted to have a variety of mons to be able to attack the same mons. Basically, if you know what I mean. Basically, if I get stuck with one mon, I want to be able to take on his team. I invested my whole mons into being able to take down his whole team. Focusing on that, because I wanted to be prepared just in case. Hey, what if he doesn't bring this? What if he doesn't bring that? What if he doesn't bring this? I don't want to be the what if guessing, you know what I mean, guys? I don't want to be that person that's the what if guessing and all that. And I'm hoping it does well for me. I really am hoping it does well for me with this setup. But moving on to the next part of our section where we decide what he's gonna bring. What do I think Tui is gonna bring? Well, let's be honest. I'm expecting the Dragapult. That Dragapult is clearly gonna come. It is one of his best bonds on his team, as Chaos said last week, and his team builder and all that. It is one of his best bonds on his team. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna bring that hat as well again, because the hat is pretty good. He likes to have that Fairy's Dragon Steel Core, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna rock the, um, Sorry about that. I think he's- I'm pretty sure he's gonna rock the Copperaja. Or the Corviknight, but I think it's gonna be Copperaja again. He likes his elephants. So I think he's gonna rock Copperaja. He drafted Noivern. So... Honestly, I think he might bring Noivern as well. Cause it is a pretty good mon. I'm pretty sure he won't bring Tox because he sees my team, he knows I have really strong ground mons, so he knows if he brings Tox, he's gonna get grounded, quite literally. Quite literally gonna get grounded. So, we got three members that we think he's gonna bring. Dragapult, Hatterene, and Copperage. I think he's gonna bring Novavern, which is the fourth member slot. Fifth member I think he's gonna bring is Lapras, because I, like I said last week, I do have a massive ice weakness. I think he saw that and noticed that. So I think he's gonna bring that Lapras as well. And then for his last mon, it's gonna be kind of tricky. But I think he might actually bring the Venusaur. He might bring Venusaur. There's no way he's bringing Bolton, Charizard, or Tox because he sees my team. So yeah, those are out of the question. 
I don't think he'd bring Dabul, because I think that was a, just a quick pick on his part. So that next down, basically four members of his team that he won't bring. So that would leave Corviknight or Inteleon that he'd bring. And honestly, looking at those two Mons, I think he thinks he'd have a better bet with Corviknight to get that Tailwind up. So I think that's what he'll bring is the Corviknight. So, yeah, I think he's gonna bring Dragapult, Hatterene, Copperaja, Noivern, Lapras, and the Venusaur Corviknight. I think that's the bonds he's gonna bring, the six bonds he's gonna bring for the week. So, how I'm gonna handle those, I'm pretty sure I got this. I mean, like I said, I made my movesets. I didn't mean to do that one. But yeah, like I said, I made my movesets. Alakazam can take them. Caesar can take them. Terry can take them. Infinite can take them. Gibius can take them. And Jackie can take them. They all have ways of taking their moms down. Like, like I said, I built this team for the six months I think he's gonna bring, but I also built them just in case he need he brings the ones that I don't expect. Like that Bolton, the Charizard, the Double, and the Choctricity. I did build them just in case. Just so I know. But my team basically is a really good counter to his team. It knows a lot of coverage moves. It knows a lot of abilities that help out. I think I got this week. I think I got this week with my as long as my preps are par with everything, I think I'm pretty good with this. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my uh, battle video tomorrow that comes up, and that will be a doozy, I'm sure. Recording this beforehand, right before the battle, actually, which is about two hours before the battle. So, but the battle will be up. The day after this so I am hoping this team rocks its socks off knocks Tui into some sense and to let him know hey I mean business I don't want to lose I want to show the world that this lunar Mike like mountain lichen rocks got it we got this I want to show you guys I am learning I am living I am gonna rock your world no pun intended because my team is mostly rock <laughs> Uh, but this week is gonna be an interesting fun week in uh, good luck to my opponents the Derby Dolphins or as he calls it the Darby Dolphins I like to tease with the name so good luck to you and have fun I hope you enjoy the matches the team builders and let's have some fun for now, this is your girl, Cataclyphos, signing off. Stay safe, keep howling, and stay furious, my friends. Bye!